Hey, it's Al Williamson with LeadingLandlord.com. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, will this work? Will, will midterm rentals work in my area? So I've been working on figuring out how can I help people see what I see? And I came up with some cool stuff and that's what I'm gonna show you so that you can really understand what the demand for extended stay rentals is for your location. So. I wrote this book, it's on Amazon, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can pick it up about how to do it. It's called Six Steps to $2,000 Per Month of Passive Income Within Just One Year Using Real Estate. And in it, I come with this flow chart of how to do it, it's really systematic on how to figure it out. And I'm in the middle of a series now, uh, working through this. Right now, I'm gonna be right here on Is There Enough Demand? And let's talk about that. Is there enough demand? How do you know? Well, there's two things you need to do to come up with this, what I call a midterm rental score. And we, for an acronym, is MRS, MISS, okay? So there's two things you need to do to come up with this MRS score that's gonna help you understand the demand for your area. And one is you count up the number of extended stay hotels within a certain area. And I give you this list of the top extended stay hotels in the nation so you know which brands to look for, okay? All this is in the book here. And I'm gonna do this example for you. This is Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm gonna be doing a talk down there pretty soon next month. So I'm researching the area and this is what I'm finding. Now again, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to count up the number of those different types of extended stay hotels in a certain zone so i'm going to be looking just in the five mile zone and i'm going to be looking right here in in charlotte and this is the hyatt house i'm doing a search on google maps for the for the hyatt house and i see that there's two of them and then i do another search on google maps for residence Inn. now you can see there's residence Inn all over the place but i'm going to stay within that five mile zone just to check out that area and i can move that location around the different parts of, of the of Charlotte but I'm just gonna stay in the center part okay and I see that there's three of them three residents in in that location now I'm looking at home to switch which, which is by Hilton it's kind of meant for Gen X type of folks and you can see there's tons of them all over Charlotte but we're gonna stay focused just on that little area okay just on that five mile zone and I see two of them and home with sweets by Hilton is another Hilton product a little bit higher end they kind of going after the the baby boomer generation and I see one of them there and then I see an extended stay America which is the largest extended stay hotel chain in the, the United States and I'm being real conservative here <laughs> and I'm saying just one of them even though there's a cluster I'm just gonna say that there's one of them there so again I'm I'm counting up how many extended stay hotels that are in the area and I see nine of them nine of them so that obviously is going to mean that if you want to do a midterm rental to compete against these extended state hotels that you stand a good chance because there's a lot of people using those types of products those products meant for longer term stays okay well that's just the first part of coming up with the MRS score the second part of it is to count up how many brands okay because the brands is kind of an indication of, of how intense your market is because your market has a lot of diversity in it so let's take a look at the Hyatt house and this like this is really swanky really modern looking look it's got a dishwasher it's got nice wood appliances and furnishings and drawers and nice textures and things here's the bedroom is really nice I wouldn't mind hanging out here this is really nice and then you have a different level of luxury with extended stay America is at a different price point but yet they're making money okay all these guys are making money whichever price point they pick and whichever level of luxury they're going after here's the the kitchen for extended stay America It doesn't have a dishwasher in it it is it's got a two burner st stove and it's real basic and same with the the bedroom area is very very basic basic TV as oftentimes those drawers don't have rollers on them <laughs> they're kind of really 
really, really basic. But they're making money. They make a lot of money. So that was the second part, is count up the number of brands. And we see in, in this example in Charlotte, I could have picked more, but this is more than enough <laughs> to, to come to the conclusion, okay? I see five of them we talked about. So here's the equation to, come, to calculate your MRS score, your midterm rental score, so that you can figure out the demand for your area is to calculate the, the number of brands that we came up with five and then the number of hotels we came up with nine of them in that five mile area and that gives us a score of 45. Now we're going to take that midterm rental score and we're going to drop it into this lookup table which is in the, the book I'm, I was telling you about and I'm going to leave a link in the description so if you want to pick up the book on Amazon you can just do that real easily. Here we are. Our midterm rental score of 45 is more than 11. <laughs> and, that, and what that says is, what that means is, is go. It's a definitely go sign. We're well over 11. All right. <laughs> so it means we're viable and we're going to, there is enough people coming to town of all different levels of luxury. They want all different levels of luxury. And that's proven by these hotels being there and those hotels know what they're doing. So all we have to do is copy what they're doing. We know there's enough demand. If you follow this procedure, you can calculate the demand for your location. And if it's low, well, you can calculate it for a different location before you spend any money. That's what's really cool. And then you can set up in the location that has the most demand, the highest MRS score. That's why I put together the book so that you can figure out where's the smartest location and to set up your extended stay rental so that's really cool that's going to save you some money help you make some wise decisions because you can set up a you can buy a brand new mattress and put it up on this side of town or in this side of town right the mattress costs the same but the amount of money that you can make from one to the other is different and that's what i'm trying to show you i hope you find this helpful I'll leave a link to the book. I really recommend that you pick it up. It's really going to help you in the description. And if you're interested in finding other ways to make more money or reduce your expenses, you know what to do. Just subscribe.